Okay, head and shoulders pattern, one of the most notorious and dangerous stock patterns in all of investing. Okay, we're going to talk about this chart pattern. We're going to talk about what technical analysts uh, look for and monitor for um, when they're looking for this pattern and, and why it can be such a dangerous, dangerous thing. So take a look at this chart directly from Working Wallet's Guide to Stock Picking. Uh, I know a lot of you have it. Nice work just on the technicals and fundamentals of single stock investing. Uh, but take a look at this chart, okay? The buyers come in <clears throat> and you see that first shoulder on the left, right? Head and shoulders. You can see why. And the sellers knock down that first shoulder right back to the neckline. Now the stock makes an attempt at a new high and it gets there. But the sellers knock it down hard. And there's no higher low, right? There's no upward trend line that totally fails all the way back down to the neckline. So now we have our left shoulder and we have our head and the buyers make another attempt and get knocked down. Um, they can't even make a new high here and, and that's your right shoulder. So already the buyer seller behavior is looking dismal. It's not looking good. And here's what matters. If the stock falls below the neckline meaningfully, I mean big price movement, I mean on high volume, we see a meaningful dip below the neckline. Um, most technical analysts expect the stock to drop the, based on history, right, human behavior, the distance between the original neck and headline. So we're looking at a very big drop here that makes this a very dangerous pattern if you're a bull or opportunistic pattern if you're a bear if you're short. Um, and obviously it doesn't always happen, right? The stock doesn't always fall below the neckline. Sometimes it bounces off and recovers and, and everything works out. But as an eclectic money manager, as an eclectic uh, investment analyzer, you, you need to be aware. Take care.